guys welcome back in this video we're going to be creating our chat bubbles here and we're also going to be introducing the logic we need to determine whether or not a message is coming from someone else or if it's from us and you know that's going to determine certain things like the background color of the message bubble the the, the text color where it's positioned on the screen so on and so forth so let's go ahead and just go to our chat folder and we're going to create a new file here it's going to be a swift ui view and we're going to say chat message cell so inside of this cell is going to be all of the ui and the logic we need to determine where the message is going to go and how it's going to look so the first thing i want us to do guys is add an input parameter to determine if this is from the current user or not so we're going to say uh, let is from current user and that's going to be a Boolean variable. So we're just going to use this property to determine if the message is coming from us or if it's coming from the person we're talking to. And that's going to be the foundation of our logic here. So if it's from the current user, it basically, you know, if I send this message to someone else, then it's going to be blue. The text is going to be white. It's going to be on the right side of the screen and vice versa. If it's from the person I'm talking to, we're gonna display their profile image. It's gonna be a gray chat bubble with black text and it's gonna be on the left side of the screen. So let's go ahead and just add this in here. And we'll say is from current user is true for now. And inside of this body, we're gonna create an H stack. And then we're gonna say if is from current user and else. So if it's from the current user, we're gonna start off with this. We wanna make sure that we start off by shoving this over to the right side of the screen. So I'm gonna create a spacer to do that. And then we're gonna create a text property and just say, this is a test message for now. And then we're gonna say dot font is dot sub headline dot padding. Then we're gonna say dot background and this is where we set the background color. So it's going to be dot system blue dot foreground color is white dot clip shape is a capsule. And we're going to introduce a custom clip shape in a little bit, guys. You can see here that if the message is from the current user, that it's pointed on this edge here to sort of make it look like a chat bubble. And then if it's not, it's pointed on this edge here to make it look like it's a chat bubble coming from the left. So that's just a nice little UI touch. But for now, we're just gonna make it a clip shape of a capsule. And let's go ahead and resume our preview to see how this looks. And then we're gonna handle the other side of things as well. And we'll just toggle this to false uh, once we're, we verify that all of this is good to go. So um, let's see, this is about to come up. So that looks pretty good, right? Um, I think we just need to add some padding, but we can do that in a little bit. So let's go ahead and change this to false now. So this is gonna be the case for when the, the message is coming from someone else. So this is gonna be an H stack in and of itself. We're gonna have alignment on the bottom edge and spacing is gonna be eight pixels, okay? And the reason we're creating another H stack in the else block here, guys, is because we need the profile image here stacked horizontally next to the message bubble. So here we can just say circular profile image view. User is user dot mock user and the size is dot extra extra small. And then we're going to create our text property. So let's just go ahead and grab all of this stuff. It's going to be almost the exact same. Um, we're just going to change the foreground color to system gray five and then make the, or sorry, the background was system gray five. The foreground color is going to be black and that's looking pretty good. And um, let's see, what else do we want? Now we need a spacer to shove this over to the right side of the screen, right? So within this H stack, go ahead and apply a spacer there and that's gonna shove it over to the left side of the screen. Okay, so that's not looking too bad. Um, now what I want us to do is on this entire H stack, let's go ahead and apply some horizontal padding. I think that's what we want here. Um, 
So if I go here and say dot padding dot horizontal, right, it moves it over just a tad. And maybe we could do just like, you know, eight pixels of horizontal padding. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, and then guys, for the message padding on the bubble, let's go ahead and just make that 12 pixels. Yeah, that looks a lot cleaner to me. Um, so that's a really good start from now, for now, right? Um, now what I want us to do is go ahead and drop this into our chat view and just see if we can get a bunch of test messages showing up. So let's go back to our chat view and let's go to this messages part right here. Make sure you're still inside of your scroll view because you obviously want this to all be part of a scroll view here. And let's just go ahead and create a for each loop. Zero up to maybe like 15 messages. ID is backslash dot self. We'll say message in. Then we just need to create our chat message cell. And for this is from current user, we can go ahead and say bool dot random. And this will just give us back a random Boolean value each time. So it'll mix our messages up really nicely there. So that is really starting to come together nicely, guys. And this is already looking really, really good. Um, there are a couple of touches that we need to make, though. Um, so I want us to go ahead and go over some different types of scenarios that we're going to encounter here, like what happens if the message gets longer. And then we also need to introduce our custom clip shape here as well. So let's go ahead and see what happens when messages get longer. So in the is from current user guy, um, let's just go ahead and make this longer. That is a longer message. Let's see what happens, right? And let's go back to our chat view and let's see what that looks like. So let's let our preview load. And we notice that this doesn't really look that great anymore, right? So it starts to get really messy. Okay, so basically we, we don't want this to bleed over too much to the left side of the screen, right? Because then it just starts to get really messy. And we wanna do the same thing for uh, the other type of message if it's not from the current user. We wanna make sure it doesn't bleed over too far to the right of the screen. So back in our chat message cell, guys, we're gonna go ahead and add a frame to this. We're gonna say frame, the max width is going to be dot infinity, or sorry, not infinity. It's gonna be UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width divided by 1.5. And then we're gonna make the alignment dot trailing. And let's go ahead and change this back to true to see how that looks. Okay, so it looks a little bit better, right? Um, we're gonna change this clip shape in a little bit, but let's go back to our chat view and just see if that solves that width problem. So let's just wait, wait for the preview to load. And we can see here that this looks a lot better now, right? Like it's not bleeding over too far to the left side of the screen. So let's just go ahead and do the same thing for our chat uh, message cell when it's not from the current user. So just go and copy that line of code and we're gonna make this 1.75. We need to make this a little bit different because we have the profile image there as well, and the alignment here is actually going to be leading. So next up, let's go ahead and just change this to false and see what that looks like in the preview. So that also looks good, um, but let's go ahead and make it longer. That is longer. Let's see what happens and just go back to your chat view let's wait for our preview to load and see if we solve that problem then we'll introduce our custom clip shape and then we'll be good to go so yeah guys this is now looking a lot better right so that uh idea of giving the bubble a maximum width is what we just did so that it uh, keeps our, our ui really nice and clean but anyway let's go ahead and introduce this uh this chat bubble um that we see here in the completed application. So I'm gonna go back to my chat folder and I'm going to make a Swift UI view and it's gonna be called a chat bubble. And this is actually gonna be a shape. And we are going to have our is from current user guy in here as well. So we're gonna say let is from current user and that's gonna be a Boolean variable. And the reason we need this guys is because 
the shape of this is going to deter is going to be determined uh, based on whether or not the message is from the current user or not. So if it's not, we want it to have this custom clip shape on the left here. And if it is, we want that uh, non rounded edge on the right. So what we're going to do is just create we're going to draw like a path. First, let's go here and fix this. And we're going to say true. And we're not going to need this body, we're just going to create a path. So we're going to say func path in rect. So this is the function we need to introduce to conform to the shape protocol. Then we're going to say let path equal a UI Bezier path. And we're going to say rounded rect by rounding corners and corner radii. So if you guys look, this creates and returns a new Bezier path object with a rectangular path rounded at specified corners. So basically, this is a rounded rectangle. And then we have this as a pointy edge. So this is going to allow us to uh, accomplish that. So we're going to say rounded rect, and we're just going to pass in the rect by rounding corners. And here we're going to create an array. And let me just uh, indent on each one of those properties to make this neater. And we're going to say dot top left. And then dot top right. And then we're going to say is from current user. Yes, dot bottom left. No dot bottom right. And then here we're going to say CG size width and height of 16 by 16. So that should be good to go. Um, I think we need to add a parenthesis. Yep. So now you guys might be wondering, okay, like how are we going to use this? And hold on, we just need to go out in this function and say return path. And we're going to say path dot CG path. So uh, basically, guys, this is just how you draw a custom clip shape or create a custom clip shape. Now we're going to go back to our chat message cell. And instead of having a clip shape as a capsule, we are going to create our clip shape as our chat bubble and pass in that is from current user guy. So we should really see this come together now. Oops, we have to do that on both of these. So let's go back to our chat view. And we should see this looking exactly as our completed app does. And check that out. That looks absolutely amazing, right? So basically, guys, all we did there was we said that if the message is from the current user, we want the clip shape to be rounded in this way where we we're going to round this edge the, and the, the we're going to round the top left, the top right. And if it's from the current user, we also round the bottom left, but we do not round out the bottom right. So if we go back to this chat bubble, that's what we're doing here. We're saying, hey, always round the top left and the top right, right? And then if it's from the current user, we only want to round the bottom left. And if it's not from the current user, then we only then we also round the bottom right and we do not round the bottom left. So that's why one of the edges is pointy. Okay. So um, that's just a, a really cool trick to get a custom clip shape there. And that's going to wrap it up for our chat view user interface, guys. The next step in this process is going to be introducing our back end with Firebase. And we're going to start with authenticating our users. And then we're going to get into how to send messages to users and also how to load users into this awesome like active now view and all of that good stuff. So get excited for that, guys. We'll see you there. Peace.